Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video in our JavaScript course. I hope you are enjoying this series. If yes, don't forget to let me notify in the comment section. I read all of them. So let's move further and of course learn code online.in. Visit that. So now let's get move ahead and try to make uh, this Trello into version 3, but this time you're going to be making it onto version 3. This video consists of a big assignment, but first I need to cover up a few topics so that I can teach them first and can give you assignments for that. It's going to be fun, believe me. So let's move on to the Trello version 3 and uh, you can just select this guy and uh, let's create a new file and that's going to be Trello v3.js. There we go. Okay, so there are a couple of things that I want to talk about. First of all, we can borrow some things from here. So let's just create an object, which is exactly like the previous one. So we have already learned that how we can create objects, how we can create functions and stuff like that. Now let's move further. And what I want to discuss is something which is like this console.log. So how we can create a method just exactly like console.log. Okay, exactly like this. We want to create a, some method which says my to do's dot and let's just say add meeting and there we can pass on directly like five or four. This would be much more easier and better as compared to our version two. Okay, so we're going to learn a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to show you one, then you'll, you're you going to be doing this assignment for two. Okay, maybe more. So how we can proceed in that further. Now, just like we have learned that we can create a, a kind of a property here, which can have a string a boolean, a number, we can also create a property which can have a function. These are known as methods. But you might be asking what's the difference between a method and a function? And technically there is none. If the thing is inside this object or maybe inside some class, we call it method, otherwise it's a function. So technically there is no difference at all. Yes, a lot of you can argue with me there, but uh, I'm gonna leave this as totally on you, decide what's the difference in here. So let's just call this, we're going to call add meeting, add meeting, there we go. Now this add meeting is going to be a simple function. So how we can convert that as a simple function? Exactly how we have learned previously. Just create a name which says function and I can surely write function. There we go and define whatever you want to do inside this function. For example, let's just say you want to log out something saying, hey, or hey, I am a function. There we go. So now you can have a call to this function just like what we have done in the past. In fact, if you're going to be learning any framework uh, or maybe a library like React or Node or anything, you will be using this exact same thing quite a lot. Okay. So how we can access that is the next question. So obviously it can be really simple. You can simply say my to do's. And just like we have been accessing all these properties like day, meeting done and meeting uh, meetings, we can simply have something known as add meeting. And just like that, we have to call it just like that. So notice the similarity here between simply this console.log and me add meeting. Yes, it's exactly same. So from the day one, when we started the series, we have been actually doing exactly what we are learning now. So what we're going to do is remove this console log and we want to run this version three of Trello. So we're going to just open up our terminal and uh, no, not like that. So there we go. We are going to open up our terminal, clear the screen, and we want to run this version three. So that's going to be simple. Node Trello v3.js. And notice it says, hey, I'm a function. Okay. So now we have learned the very first thing of our JavaScript, which is how we can create a function and can call them just like console.log. Now comes up the next part which is how can we access all these properties which are defined in my object and how I can manipulate them. I have already learned in the previous videos that when I manipulate any property in my object, it's permanent. Whether I'm doing it through a function or any other way, it's done. It's, it's done in the original one. So there comes up a new thing which can be a little bit tricky to understand, but it's not much because we will be revisiting this topic again. So this topic is known as this keyword. A lot of beginner programmer who are getting introduced in the JavaScript get, can, can get easily confused with this topic. But don't worry, this is totally, totally easy. And when we'll be revisiting this topic, it will become uh, completely clear. Right now, what we have to worry about, when you're calling this anywhere inside this object in these functions, what this means is uh, 
it's trying to refer is an object which is just uh, just in here. For example, in this case, we are referring to all the objects just like here. Okay. Yes, its context can change a little bit, but we are not worried about that at all. And right now, just try to understand what I'm saying here is here. And you know what's the big issue about pro uh, teaching the programming? The people who doesn't know anything about programming, they are much more easier to teach, while other person who have some knowledge from here and there, they are not empty canvas, so they are much more harder to teach. So don't become that guy who has some knowledge from here and there. Just believe in me and right here, when we'll be revisiting, things will get clear. So in order to understand this more, notice here what I'm, I'm trying to refer here is this, and I want to just print it here. So let me just save this and first of all, let me run this so that we can see what this is referencing right now here. So clear that up and there we go. So notice here, this is now referencing to all the objects or all the properties which are in this current uh, object. If we are gonna be calling this uh, somewhere into other object, then this in that particular object means to that only. Now how we can verify that, we can quickly copy that and uh, we are gonna have uh, another, let's call this as my to do two. And in here we have another add meeting, exactly. And we are having uh, this function and this context here. So we're gonna be just duplicating this guy and we're gonna call this as uh, two. So now we have exactly same keyword and exactly same methods and everything. But this keyword right now here reference to all the objects uh, all the properties which are defined in this one. This keyword now refers to all the properties which are defined in this one. And we can simply verify that by saving this file and can run this. And uh, there we go. So notice here that first our, uh, it is referencing to Monday and everything. I should have changed a few things here so that we can uh, understand that. Probably this is like uh, Tuesday. Tuesday and this should be like uh, probably 12 this can be like uh, 3 something like that now let's just run that again so we're gonna clean that up run that again so notice here uh, right now this was referencing to all these things in the day Monday Tuesday and all of that and the second one it's referencing to Tuesday and meeting all of that so this uh, reference point is pretty good and you need to understand it don't worry, we will be revisiting this uh, this keyword and things will get clear much more there, okay? Right now, all we are worried about is how does this works? This is really simple. This just says whatever the objects, uh, whatever the properties are there in this current object, okay? Now, how is it going to be useful for us? What we can do is we can say, let's just say somebody says add meeting and pass on an object which is gonna be four. So I have four meetings today. So all I can do is in this function, I have to reference on this meeting. I have to use this. I cannot simply say uh, meetings like that and can assign it to uh, whatever the number is passed on. So let's just say a num is coming up from here or uh, probably have initial value zero. Uh, so we can simply say is equals to meetings, meetings, uh, did I wrote it correct? Nope, <laughs> meetings and plus num. I cannot do that. Now, let's just see how how is it going to work if I just do something like that. Okay, so we need another function which is gonna be display or can be summary, summary. And this summary is gonna be uh, something, again, <laughs> the problem is still the same. So let's just say we have a function. It doesn't take any parameter at all. And we forgot a comma there and summary. And now if you want to access like all the meetings in here, uh, we have to return this. So return and something like this. And we can say you have a certain number of meetings, meetings today. There we go. Now the problem is I cannot still say something like meetings. Okay. And uh, you know why it is happening? Let me show you that why it is happening. My to do's dot and this is summary, there we go, so have it. Now let's just try and run this because that's always a good idea to how, see how things are going on or how things are going on wrong. Now notice here, uh, although our technically our code is correct, but meetings is not defined. Our function have absolutely zero idea what this meeting is. Now this can be a little bit tricky situation that hey, it is just defined there, but remember, when we are using these curly braces, a things kicks in which is known as scope. 
So this, in order to get rid of this scope problem, we use this. So whenever you have to reference this particular meeting, when you're inside an object, you can use this keyword. We did notice previously that this has an access to all the things which we have defined. So what we can say, we can simply say this dot meetings, and then we can say this dot meetings. And I'm gonna show you a confusion part as well where a lot of people get confused. And in here as well, we can simply say this dot meetings, okay? So now what we have said that, hey, since this has an access to all of that, just like previously we have learned with the dot, we can access that property, we are accessing that. So that sounds cool. It should be running fine now, uh, according to the theory, which I've mentioned here. So there we go. We forgot to console log anything at all. So uh, I should console log this summary and I can just cut that out and I can say console log, there we go. So now it should work correctly and there we go, you have four meetings today. Now let me tell you where actually the confusing part comes up. Confusion part comes up when people just try to teach in a way they, then, that they should not be teaching. Something like when this num, instead of this num, people try to refer that as meeting or probably meetings. Now comes the tricky part because what you have learned so far is exactly the same. But what usually the books, I have been onto this pain. I don't know why people do that and say this like that. And people eventually get confused that why with some meetings it says this and why with some meetings it just say meeting. Now the only question is if you'll replace this to num or to some number or just this num, it gets absolutely clear that yes, what we are referencing to this here. And you'll be seeing this in a lot of like a blogs or books that people just reference it with the same name. It happens quite a lot. But the point is when you're referencing to the things uh, or properties which are inside an object, then only we use this. Otherwise, if something is coming directly as a parameter, call it a num, call it a meetings, it's totally the same thing. Okay. So now we have learned that how we can use this add meeting and can get a summary. Now here comes the assignment part, which I think everybody is excited. So assignment, okay. So what is your assignment? Uh, the first part is we have already done for the add uh, meeting and we want to do is meeting done. So handle something like this, handle meeting done. This time we don't need to calculate anything. You can just take these things convert that into a negative number and just say meeting done and it's gonna, in the summary, it's gonna just calculate, just handle however you like, okay? Uh, all I'm saying is just, it should work fine. And uh, we have already done, what are other functions? We have add meeting, we have a reset one as well. So uh, create a function. So create a function uh, that can reset entire day. So there we go. So we have just two functions handle the meeting done, as well as create a function. We have already got the summary. You will surely need to edit this summary part as well, okay? So this is all fun. You have learned about some of the methods which we can create inside the object, as well as we have handled a little bit about the, this keyword. I will be revisiting the, this keyword when we'll be talking about difference between ES6, ES7, and the regular JavaScript and stuff like that, and how it can get messy, all of that later on and uh, I have given you a couple of assignments. So I hope you're enjoying and having fun this with this amazing JavaScript series. If you're enjoying it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button is important. It motivates me to do all these things. I hope you want me to keep doing this stuff. So that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.